Hey guys, it's Winda here and I am back with another video. In this video, we are talking about a brand new iPad keyboard case from Typecase. So this is the one that I got. Um, this is from Typecase and it is called the Flexbook Touch. So I got it in pink. Um, it shows a black one here, but the one inside is pink. And I'm just gonna be unboxing it with you, showing you guys how to set it up as well as just my thoughts on it. It's a keyboard case and it has a touchpad so that you can use it like a mouse. It has lots of different ways that you can use it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I loved my other keyboard case, which is pretty similar except it didn't have the touchpad. So um, this is kind of like an upgrade for me. So yeah, let's just get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Winda and I am the blogger behind Wonderful.com, where I talk about productivity tips and planning and I also create digital planners and systems so that you can get more organized. So if you aren't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any new videos that I create in the future. All right, so let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so here is the type case that you will get in the mail. So it just shows you all the modes that you can use this um, keyboard case as. You know, you could put it as a laptop mode, stand mode, tent mode, tablet mode, share mode, and a protect mode. Um, it's a very nice hard case, so it's really protected and it's just a magnetic closure so it's easy to open. And once you open it, you get just kind of like a little info about what is included, all the features. And then we have a little user manual, and then a little phone pad, and here we have the case, and a bag, here. and up here we have the probably the charging cord. Yeah, so it's just a charging cord. Looks like it's a USB-C cord. So that's everything that's included in the box. Very nicely packaged. Um, I love this magnetic closure. It keeps it protected. So here is the case. So this is like the rose gold color. And very sturdy and it's not that heavy. It's pretty light actually. A lot lighter than the other one I had. And the keys are white, so it has lights. It has a little white pen loop right here. I really like it so far. So it says pair your iPad with the keyboard case. Make sure you're on iOS 13. Enable the touchpad function. All right. So let's just set it up. So I have my iPad. This is the 2020 version. I'm just gonna put that all the way down. All right, so here's the camera. I'm just gonna match it up to that. So it says to put it at the bottom edge first and then to just kind of snap it in. That's one side. Break it. There we go. Well, there, it just snapped in. I have my iPad on there. Now, this is extremely light compared to my other one. Um, the color um, doesn't really look as pink as the other one that I had, but it has more of a rose. I think this is more the rose gold version instead, but I really like it. It looks very nice and sleek. Um, I really like how smooth it is and how light it is. <laughs> it's so much lighter than the other one I had. And I like it that it has these little rubber feet so that when you put it down, it's not like super loud and it stays. So, so all the modes that you can set it up in. The reason why I love these keyboard cases is that it can stand up just like this. Um, you can have it like a laptop mode, 
you can even spin it around. So, and it's just, it's so sturdy that you can move it any way you want. So then if you want to just have it like as a tablet, you can do so just like that. Or if you want it to just write on, you can put it all the way down and backwards and close the keyboard up. Um, the other way, you can even stand it up like so. So you can have like a tent mode. You could even, you know, do it sideways like this if you want to watch it in portrait mode. So yeah, it's very versatile. So yeah, um, I've never tried a touchpad before, so let's see how we can get that set up. So I'm just going to put this all the way down so that you guys can see what I'm doing as well. So let's see, you should turn it on. There's an on and off switch right here. So I'm just going to go into settings. And we're just going to go to Bluetooth. And we're going to look for it. So right away it pops up as Type Case Flexbook. So we're just going to click that to pair. And then we're just going to hit pair. And it's connected. All right, so in order for some of the uh, touch gestures to work, you do need to turn on the assistive touch. In order to get to that, you just go to settings, then you go to accessibility, and you click on touch, and you need to turn on the assistive touch. And once you do that, your cursor should pop up. And another setting that you might want to play around with is if you scroll down, you'll see tracking sensitivity. So you can make it a little bit faster if you like to move faster without, you know, moving so much. So it's super sensitive right now. So and then you can just move it towards a turtle if you think that's too fast. So I'm just going to leave it around here. That feels comfortable for me. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is if you do not want to use the pad at all, you can actually turn off touchpad with this button right here. So if you click that, it won't work. So you won't accidentally click on anything. But if you unclick it, then you can move your cursor around. So some of the features of the touchpad besides you know using the cursor um, you can actually scroll with two fingers and with three fingers you can swipe three fingers up swipes back to the app that you were just on and then three fingers down will bring you all of your open apps so three fingers down and then three fingers up will switch your apps. Okay, and then if you want to zoom in, you just kind of pinch your fingers just like that. So I'm zooming out and then zooming in. And they said that this only works in the web browser, so you wouldn't be able to use it in your planner or anything. If you click, you just have to tap it once. And then two finger click will right click it. And yeah, so those are, you know, just some of the touchpad gestures. I'm just gonna be learning along the way and we'll see. Okay, and then um, if you want to open up your dock, you can just uh, bring your cursor towards the bottom and that will bring up your dock. Um, and if you bring it to this corner up here, it will, I don't know if you can see, but it will bring your control center. 
All right, so this pen loop is like a leather, just like a piece of leather, and it is attached directly inside of the iPad case. So it looks pretty clean. You don't see anything on the back or the front. It's just attached right there. It is on the side of the keyboard, so unfortunately you won't be able to charge your iPad if it's in there, but if you are on the go and you know you want to keep your pencil safe, at least there is a place for you to do that. And it slides in and out pretty easily. So that's a plus. So this is what it looks like when it is closed. So it's just right at the top by the camera. Anyway, so this keyboard is very nicely spaced. Oops. So I really like that. You know, good notes. Let's just try to get a text box here. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so typing on it feels exactly like it would on my MacBook. Um, it feels very comfortable. I love that this shift key is normal size. My other one was actually like half the size, so it was really awkward typing. So typing in this feels pretty natural. Um, the keyboards are nice and clean and white, very, very easy to see. Um, I use my planner a lot at night, so having the backlight colors at nighttime is going to be really great. Okay, and finally the last thing I wanted to talk to you about are the lights. So I'm going to turn down some of these lights so that you can see it better. Alright guys, so this is what the keyboard case looks like in the dark. But the cool thing about it is that you can turn on the lights just by clicking on the light button right here. So there's a light button and then there's a color button. So the mode that I have it on just cycles through all of the colors, but you can actually change all of the different colors. So we can make it blue, we can make it this blue-green, uh, this dark blue, purple, pink, hot pink, red, orange, and then this like yellow-green, green, and then this is the all color mode. So this is going to be so perfect if you're planning at nighttime and you want to see what you're typing. So that's pretty cool. All right, so overall, um, I really like this case, this keyboard case from Type Case. Um, I really love that the shift keys are normal sized. Um, I love the lights. I love the color of it. Um, and I like the Apple Pencil holder that's already built in for you. I really like that at nighttime, I can turn on the lights and use it and it doesn't have a weird humming sound like my other keyboard case did so this is going to be so much nicer to use at nighttime when I'm in bed um, it paired automatically um, it was very easy and I'm getting used to using the cursor on my iPad I never really used a mouse or the cursor on my iPad so that was pretty new to me and I'm still learning how to use it but I already feel like it's kind of making a difference. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys will check it out. Um, I'll link it down below in the description box so that you guys can see all the different kinds of iPads they have it for. They have different styles. They have ones without the touchpad and they, you know, they make it for a lot of different iPad generations. So if you want to check it out, just click the link below and all right, so thanks so much for watching.